What's up guys, welcome back to another electric skateboard video and welcome to the third video in this VESC tutorial series. So the first video we went over all the physical connections, what they do, where to plug things in. The second video we went over all the motor and battery settings that need to get input into your ESC. And now the third video and the final video will be uh, getting your remote to actually work and doing all of the app settings. So in the previous video, we hooked all of these cables up. So what we've got here, just to bring you up to speed in case you haven't seen, we have our Bluetooth module plugged in here next to our power switch. We've got our USB cable plugged into our speed controller and we have a receiver plugged in over here. Now, again, the receiver and Bluetooth module technically could be flipped, but it makes things a lot easier uh, when it comes to programming if you do it in this order. So power switch, then the uh, Bluetooth module, then the receiver in that order. If you do it in that order, you can follow these, the, this video pretty much exactly. So, all right, let's dive back into the VEST tool. Again, we've already done our motor settings. We've already connected. So we're gonna hop down into the app settings. There are only a handful of things we actually have to do. Now, under general, app to use needs to be set to UART. So we're using a UART based remote. If you're using a PPM based remote, we'll make a secondary video specifically for you guys, but it seems like that is becoming uh, more and more rare nowadays. So we're going with a UART connection because that's the port that we're using and that's the type of remote that it comes with. That, that the VX4, which is the remote that we're using, that's the connection it uses. So uh, app to use UART. Uh, now, Shutdown mode, this is important. Now on your local side, your shutdown mode should be off after 30. This is very important um, for the Maker X. The way that the power button is coded with this speed controller, if you don't have this right, the power button doesn't work. Your speed controller will act all funny. It'll be hard to connect if you have this wrong. So this is why the local and non-local, this is why the, um, the order in which you plug your Bluetooth in and where you're plugging in your USB matters. If you plug your Bluetooth or your USB into the side with your power button, all we're about to say makes sense. So local side is the side where we're plugged into the USB. That local side needs to be off after 30. If you have your USB on the other side, everything gets messed up. It's all swapped. Okay, so that's general. That's the only two things. App, app to use UR, shutdown mode off after 30. We're gonna go over here, we're going to write or app settings, and you'll know that it worked because the bottom right will go great. Now under here, VASC remote, control type. If this is set to off, your remote is not gonna work. So control type needs to go to current, no reverse. We'll do that. And then smart reverse, if you'd like to mess with this, you absolutely can. We leave this on, meaning when you hit the brakes, your board will come to a stop. It'll delay for a second or so, and then it'll slowly go in reverse at a much lower rate than your full speed. We like this for like when you're on a, when you're stopped on a hill, it'll give you some of that uh, reverse uh, amperage to your motors to kind of keep you locked in so you're not rolling forward. So we like that. If you want to turn that off, you absolutely can, but you can just leave this as is and your board will run totally fine. Um, and that should be it. Yeah, there we go. So that's that side. Okay, so we're gonna, again, write our, write our settings here. Now we're gonna do all of this again, but on the can side. So we're gonna go back down to the bottom left-hand side and we're going to click our can side here. And now we're gonna load into the other side of the ESC. Again, general, app to use, UART, shutdown mode. Now in this case, we wanna go always on. That way that the, the, we'll call it the slave side, just asks for data from the master side. So. That's what we're gonna do here is always on. And we're going to write the setting here. So to recap, the side nearest to the USB uh, or the power switch, that is off after 30. The side that is farthest away from the power switch, that is uh, always on. Okay, there we go, that's good. Again, we'll save our work in case, I, I can't remember if I did already, but we'll do it again anyways. Okay, we're good there. And we'll go to Vast Remote. This side, there we go, current no reverse. Now it may update, it may look at the other side, but sometimes it doesn't. So current no reverse, we'll use smart reverse, cool. And now we will save our settings there. And there we go, it's written and we are all good. That's it. Okay, 
So now what we have to do is we need to disconnect. We don't want to just unplug everything. We want to actually hit this disconnect button. You'll see in the bottom right hand, it says not connected. So now we are safe to come over here and actually physically disconnect our USB. At this point, your board should power up. So I'm actually going to hear, we're going to try this out together. Hopefully it actually works. That would be kind of awkward. Boom. Ooh, look at all that dust is kicking up. So there we go. Your board should work. And again, we're going to do a whole video on how to set up a VX4 also, because there are a handful of steps you need to do with this. But there we go. Your desk is updated. You know how to find your settings. Again, if you have not found um, the previous two videos, go ahead and watch those because they, they go over all the physical connections, the motor and battery settings, which are very, very important to get right. Um, and if this video helped you at all, please consider taking a look at our shop and maybe getting your parts from our store. It helps fund videos like this. We've got top-notch customer service. And again, it just keeps these videos rolling because I know these videos are really, really important to getting builds up and running because I know a lot of this can be very confusing. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. And uh, again, we'll keep, keep an eye on our, on our channel for more videos. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do. And uh, yeah, we will see you in the next one. See ya.